and then we deployed our app. As a next step, we will configure a Fury Launchpad. So I'm going to use now the latest Fury Launchpad concept, which is called Fury Launchpad Spaces and Pages. This is relatively a new concept in the world of Launchpad. In the past, we just used to have catalogs, groups, and roles. But now we have concept of spaces, pages, and then these pages will have sections and further we have tile. So to keep it simple, I'm not denoted here sections. So what we will now do is we will add a new tile, first of all, to a catalog, which I've already created before this session to keep it simple for you. Then we will create a page and a space. We will grant the space permission to our business role and then this business role we will grant to our end user. As a result of that, our application will be accessible on SAP Fury Launchpad to our business user. I will explain you this more in detail in our unit number 7, 8, 9 and 10 where we will talk about the basics of what is a space, what is a page and what is a section. What is the benefit of spaces and pages as compared to the the old style applications which were based on home pages we will talk about the concept of how do you create the roles with those spaces added into it and we will also observe how sap is now packaging their st standard content to the spaces we will also learn how to assign the required roles to enable space management for the administrators also the space management where users can see these spaces live in action in their fury launchpad so let us go for now and use an existing content which i've already created before the session so we will just uh, have to add now a tile and that tile to my space and page so i've already created a catalog a space into the system and i will show you adding our tile for this newly deployed app into the launchpad with the space so let us switch over to the system before that i wanted to give here the names so we will be using this particular catalog this is my already created space and this is my role which i've already created then i'm going to use this as a semantic object and this as an action to deploy my app if you are new to fury security don't be so afraid i will explain you everything from scratch in our coming classes so to join this training, you can contact us on contact at anubotrainings.com for more details where we will cover these step by step in each and every session more in detail. As it is just a demo session, I wanted to take you through the end to end flow. So now it's time that I switch over to my Fury Launchpad. You all know the transaction code to launch the Launchpad is slash and slash UI2 slash FLP. So we go over there and now you see a section called Fury Launchpad. So I have granted myself the required role to be able to manage these Launchpad spaces and pages. We have also enabled through Rapid Fury Deployment Toolkit the options to enable these spaces and page management. So now I'll go inside the Launchpad spaces and you can see I've already created for this demo space. And before I go into the space and edit the same, I will go to my Launchpad Designer, this last style, which is going to open in another tab. And here I have already created a catalog. A catalog is a collection of tiles. So let's create a new tile over here. And we're going to name this tile as, let's say, Advanced Fury Training. Anubhavtrainings.com. That is our website and we will provide here a icon so let us choose an icon and now we will give a semantic object an action so we are going to cover the detail about what is a semantic object and what is an action in our unit number nine where i will explain you how to create new semantic objects and action in sap server so for now i will use an existing one which i have already maintained in the system let's put that and click on save so once it is saved, it's time that we go back to target mapping and do a mapping information creation for our Fury app. So let's create a target mapping corresponding to the same semantic object and action, which we just added for the tile. 
and here we will give our app details my app and where do we get the url of application so we switch over back to our vs code development tool and here we can see this is the url which with which the app is accessible we just take the path prefix we not take the complete url and we paste that over here why do we do like this because we when this app goes to production and quality system we don't want it to still point to our dev system that's why we always take the path prefix we will cover this topic in chapter number nine more in detail then comes is the id of application which you can find in the manifest json file so let me copy that so this is why I mentioned that you need to know basics of UI5 development before getting into the Fury security or Fury extension. Let's click on save. And now we have a new tile created over here. So that was my step number one. Step number two is we need to go and create a role. So you can also see our app, which we recently deployed is now available with the name called ZZ1 Fury Dev under BSP library inside my local objects fantastic so let's go to a role and we will just use the existing role which i've already created before the session i will go for edit and in the menu section i will just go ahead and add my space so here is where now we've got a new section called adding a launchpad space so i've already added the same space over here you can see the name i've also added my catalog over here you can see the name so this I have done and then I've granted this to my own user mob five. Yes, I just wanted to make sure that I will regenerate all the profiles necessary to get the access. And we are good to go and save the role. So that is my step number two: create a role with the space and the catalog. So catalog is the home of all the tiles in step number three. Now we go back to the launch pad and here we go to this tile called manage launchpad spaces as i mentioned a space can have pages and pages will have sections and sections will have the tiles so i've already created a space in our chapter number seven i will explain you how do you get started for a fresh space so you can also see sap is also delivering now their content through this new concept of spaces we will also talk about it in chapter seven so now come inside let's edit it asked me first the transport request assign and now we can go to the page and once i go to the page i only see right now one tile which i created yesterday and it's time that i will add now my new tile so let me add again in transport request and just add my newly created tile advanced fury training and about training so you can see the technical details of your tile over here perhaps if you have two tiles with the same description and subtitle you can always find out differentiate or this information from the more info okay let's add this and the tile has been added and you can see i've already created a new section let me name it as anubavtrainings.com we can save the change it will also get logged into a transport request for sending it to q and p system we can do a page preview here how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to look like to the business user at the same time you can also find a where use list of this space in the role so you can click on the button to see where all this space is utilized i'm sure many of you finding it difficult to follow because i'm just covering an overview in the demo session more details you can see in our detailed training once we start our live training from tomorrow onwards so now i'll go, go back and we have got things in place here we will just go back again and it seems that now i can switch over back to my home page because the role is already granted to me and once i refresh my launch pad because now i have that role assigned to me with the space in the catalog i should be able to see the tile which we have just added to our space so you will see now in a moment once it reloads i will be able to go ahead and access my tile yes so let's see i go to my space now and voila you can see our application is displayed to the user as a tile this is how you give access to your business user there is a lot which you need to learn to reach to this level you need to understand in general what's the fury security concepts and stuff like that make sure uh, there is also a user setting in the system which 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 user will enable 
the spaces so we have this setting here checked only then the pages and spaces will be visible to the user this is a very important setting so we will talk about all these nitties and gritties about how to work with the latest 2020 version of s4 concept for fury security and launchpad more detail in our advanced fury training with fury on cloud and the launchpad at the same time you would understand how to use the launchpad into sap business technology platform because there also we have it suppose you want to build a side-by-side -side app on sap btp which is just a fury app using the same backend s4 and deploy it there directly in the cloud you would also be able to do that by the end of this training conceptually it remains the same so let me take you some of the frequently asked questions regarding this training so first of all do i need to have any prior knowledge on fury security to join this course answer is no you don't need to have any prior knowledge on fury security or fury at all we will cover everything from scratch and basics how to become a fury security consultant Will you cover also the installation and extension of standard apps in this course? Yes, we will cover both installation, configuration and extension of standard Fury apps. How much percent of this course is relevant if I am a security or GRC background consultant? So almost first half of the course is relevant for you, but it's good that you stay with us for the entire training because that's when you will get a complete sound knowledge on entire course. Does this course include UI5 Fury development as a prerequisite? Answer is yes. Next half of the course. So we have 50 hours to 25 hours. No, but next 25 hours. Yes, require extensive knowledge already on Fury app development because there are a lot of concepts which are reused here in this training. However, I'll try to cover a very basic idea of first course in a nutshell, but still i would recommend if you have a knowledge on ui5 fury development for advanced development before this training okay will you cover btp also in this training yes we will cover btp deployment and also fury on cloud in this training whatever you need to know including tools deployment process and services which are there in the btp will you cover also node.js in this course yes guys we will cover node.js in this training because Node.js is the backbone of Fury tooling and Fury on cloud. And it is important that we cover that topic. We will cover the basics of Node.js in this course. You know my trainings already. I always start with ground zero. I never start at a very high level, which nobody can understand. That's not the way I cover. I will cover everything basics required in Node.js to equip yourself into a Fury on cloud developer. How many training? how many hours this training is off so this is a 50 hour training first 25 hours for fury security and fury uh, installation configuration troubleshooting theme designer launchpad designer new concepts of 2020 and stuff and the next 50 hour advanced development on vs code and bass and fury on cloud with a lot of new topics so what new topics are we covering as compared to previous batch for the same same training so we are now going to cover fury on cloud no js more detailed typescript vs code development business application studio extension into business application studio pdf generation fury launchpad spaces and pages pdf generation ui5 ui verify which is another integration framework for integration testing ci cd pipeline launchpad into the cloud and there are many more tiny topics which are latest in s4 hana 2020 will be part of this training almost 30 to 40 percent of this course is new can we just take half of this training and leave yes it's your choice you can uh, take half of the training and leave but we offer it as a bundle which means you're not going to get any discount if you just choose to take half you have to take the whole package whatever fits you cover whatever not fit just leave it I have taken your UI5 course already. Is that okay to start this course? Yes, that's very much okay. Do we cover also the rapid Fury deployment into this training with S4 on a 2020? Yes, we will cover how to use task list and rapid Fury deployment, including the concepts of launchpad spaces and pages. How do I join this training? Very simple. Just drop us an email on contact at anubotrainings.com to subscribe this course. With that, thank you so much once again for being part of this special demo session. 
on fury advance come fury cloud come fury security come fury extension come fury launch pad and spaces training with me anubhav thank you so much once again see you in the next class have a nice day goodbye